Friday seemed a successful day in court for former President Donald Trump, with one lawsuit against him withdrawn by the complainant and another dismissed by a judge, according to reports. In the first case, Summer Zervis, a former contestant on The Apprentice, ended her 2017 lawsuit against Trump in which she accused the show's former host of sexually assaulting her. In the second case, a New York state judge dismissed a 2019 lawsuit brought by former Trump attorney Michael Cohen, in which Cohen sought $1.9 million from Trump to cover legal expenses. The reason behind Zervis' action was not entirely clear but her lawyers issued a statement, Reuters reported. Ms. Zervis no longer wishes to litigate against the defendant and has secured the right to speak freely about her experience, lawyers Beth Wilkinson and Moira Penza said Friday, according to the report. Had the lawsuit proceeded, Trump faced a December 23 deadline to appear for a court-ordered deposition in the case, Reuters reported. But Zervis' withdrawal of the lawsuit ends that obligation for Trump. Trump claimed in a statement that the end of the lawsuit meant he was totally vindicated in the case, the report said. It is so sad when things like this can happen, but so incredibly important to fight for the truth and justice, Trump said, according to Reuters. Only victory can restore one's reputation. Elena Haber, a lawyer for Trump, noted that Zervis received no payment or attorney's fees in ending the lawsuit. She had no choice but to do so as the facts unearthed in this matter made it abundantly clear that our client did nothing wrong, Haber said. Zervis appeared on The Apprentice with Trump in 2005. In her lawsuit, filed in 2017, she claimed she sought career advice from Trump in 2007 but was subjected to unwanted kissing and groping during their Los Angeles meeting. Afterward, Trump retweeted a post that referred to her claims as a hoax, Reuters reported. Trump has claimed Zervis' allegations of misconduct were politically motivated. Her lawsuit faced delays while Trump served as president, 2017 to 2021, because he argued that a sitting president could not be sued, according to the report. In the Cohen case, Judge Joel M. Cohen ruled that lawyer Michael Cohen's lawsuit relied heavily on oral agreements he had made with Trump that were nullified by written agreements, and that the bulk of Cohen's legal bills were linked either to Trump himself, Trump's 2016 presidential campaign or the now-defunct Trump Foundation, but none were linked to the Trump Organization, which was the sole defendant named in the suit, The Washington Post reported. Mr. Michael Cohen's attempts at self-enrichment once again failed, Kimberly Benzer, a spokeswoman for the Trump Organization, said in a statement, according to the Post.